Hi guys, it's Eliana Wamsley, and I'm here at Famous Birthdays to answer some questions. Okay. What is your favorite style of dance? I would definitely have to say right now at the moment is definitely ballroom, just because I'm obsessed with it right now, and I'm doing a lot of it, which is really nice. Okay. Second question. What are some of your favorite movies? Okay, this might be a little weird, but I would definitely have to say my all-time favorite movie is The Shining. But also, I'm kind of scared of it now because we actually stayed at the hotel in the most haunted room. It's the most active room, which are the most ghosts. And that was really not a good experience for me. And they even took pictures on a tricycle in front of the actual room. That, that was just not, no. And I couldn't sleep that night either. But definitely my other favorite movie is definitely Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, just because it's a classic, and you can never go wrong with classics. Okay. Who are some of your favorite singers? Definitely Ariana Grande. I'm obsessed with her Sweetener album. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, my favorite thing ever. And I would also, I would also have to say, well they're, not sing well, they're not a singer. They're a band, but definitely Nirvana. I love Nirvana a lot. Like, a lot. What is your favorite memory from Dancing with the Stars Juniors? I would definitely have to say meeting my partner Jason Maybaum. It was just a great experience and I was so nervous. I was like, who am I going to get? Although like, I really wanted to get the yodeling kid, but then he probably wouldn't be a very good dancer. I was really happy with Jason. He was actually a really good dancer and he was hilarious too with the best personality. So it was really fun because I could really connect with him. What is your favorite holiday? Hmm, I have two, but definitely Christmas, obviously, because, you know, Christmas is just amazing. And it's coming up, too, so I'm super excited for that. Honestly, I don't really like Christmas because of presents. I just love it just because of the spirit, you know, like all of the decorations and just, like, the snow and all, like, the warm and cozy clothes. And then I would also have to say Halloween because, you know, you just go around and ask for candy and, like, that really can't get that much better, so. <laughs> do you have any hidden talents? I can do this with my thumb. I can put it all the way back like that. It actually kind of hurts a little bit now. Oh, I don't know if I'm... Actually, wow, that actually kind of hurt a little bit. I haven't done that in a while. Wow, okay. No more bending thumb back. <laughs> what do you like to do when you aren't dancing? I definitely, I like to watch ASMR. I'm obsessed with ASMR. I also like to hoverboard around my house because we have really long hallways, so I can just go zoom and then zoom back, so that's really fun. And then I also, I also really like to go rock climbing. Rock climbing is definitely a fave. I love doing it just because I get to like, just go like that and I get to hold on and I have to use all my strength or else I'm gonna fall. But luckily I have those strings attached to me so I don't fall and hurt myself. Who would be your dream duet partner? I would definitely say Michael Demensky because he was on World of Dance and also he has all these really, really cool tricks that he can do. And I also really know, I know him too. And he's also so sweet and nice. And that would just be really cool. Even though he's really tall though, so that would kind of be a little bit hard. But you know, it's okay, it's okay. Who were some of your dance role models? Okay, definitely Misty Copeland, Tate McRae, and Avery Gay. Those are my three. Yeah. And I know Tate and Avery personally, but I'm hoping to meet Misty too. When and how did you start dancing? Well, I didn't put myself in dance. My mom was a dancer, so she, so she just put me in dance. She's like, whether you like it or not, you're gonna be in it. But luckily it was just like a small like baby class where you could like do like paintings and you could wear like any clothes you want, like little tiny ballet slippers. Like it was more like a fun class. But then, like, once I got more serious into it, I was like, wow, like, I actually really want to keep doing this. So, but I started dancing when I was 18 months old, so one and a half. So I was very young, and I'm pretty sure I didn't know how to walk yet either. So I don't know how I was dancing. What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, like I said, how I love hoverboarding in my free time. I want to be an engineer making hoverboards, because I feel like that'd be a very cool job. I also, of course, I want to be a dancer or an actress. 
And this this is a little bit weird, but I want to work at in and out Burgers and making fries. Because they have these, like, press machines where you, like, push it down, like, the fries come out, like, the potatoes. Like, that That just be so fun. I don't know. That's a little weird. I don't know. I don't know. It probably wouldn't be a very well-paying job, but that just seems really fun. Okay. How many siblings do you have? I have two older brothers, so that's kind of not really fun because they always pick on me and scare me. Like one time, my middle brother, he knows I'm deathly afraid of dolls, so he put a doll next to me, one of my mom's antique dolls, so they're extremely scary. He put one next to me while I was sleeping, so when I woke up, I was like, and I started crying. I was so scared, so that was not really fun. But I have a 19-year-old brother and a 16-year-old brother. One is Luke and one's Jacob. Jacob is the 19-year-old and Luke is the 16-year-old. Okay, if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Hmm. Everyone's probably gonna say like pizza and mac and cheese, but I really just wanna eat edamame for the rest of my life. I'm obsessed with edamame, especially when there's all that good salt on it. Oh, it's just so, it's just so nice. Everyone's like, pizza, mac and cheese. I'm like, I just want edamame and I'll be good. Okay, well my last question. What is your most embarrassing moment? Okay, well this actually happened a couple days ago. I was dancing on the stage, but the girl forgot it on stage. She just like, like started doing it for her so she could look at me. But then I was right near the edge of the stage and I fell off. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. This teacher, she had to turn off the music because it was like bad. The stage was like pretty high. Like if it started right here and it went like all the way up to there. So that really was not fun. She stopped the music. She's like, oh my God, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like trying not to cry. I'm like, don't, 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 don't do it, don't do it. But it was just really hard. Luckily, I didn't cry, but it was really embarrassing because she like, stopped in the middle, like, while they were doing the dance. I was like, oh, my gosh. Just, like, you know, that's just, like, the worst when that happens. And everyone's, like, just, like, staring at you. And especially when you get hurt and you just, like, kind of want to be by yourself. But, like, everyone's like, oh, my God, are you okay? And she's like, yes, I'm fine. Just, no. Go. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to follow my Instagram, Eliana Wamsley underscore. I had such a great time today. Bye.